My name is Julie Smee and I'm a Programme Manager for Personalisation, leading the delivery of the Personal Health Budget Programme. In the beginning, some of the things that we needed to think about were how can we best support staff forming a different type of relationship, one that was empowering people to make their own choices and supporting their decisions. We also had to think about how we'd address fears about patients making so-called bad decisions about the services they've chosen and also ensuring that there was a choice of service available for people to spend their budget on. Anyway, enough about me, let's hear from the staff themselves. It's about people starting to think about what really makes a difference for them in their lives when they have a health condition. Personal health budgets gives them the chance to say, well, actually, this doesn't work for me, but this really would work for me. Well, I think it's going to be um, an opportunity to improve their health care by giving them more choice. Personalisation, t- um, to me, is um, a big shift from the traditional way of the NHS um, delivering care. Um, I think it's a huge leap, but a positive one in terms of um, empowering patients to um, be involved in choosing their care. You can see where you might be able to do something better for your patients that you can't do within the confines of the NHS. So it just gives you the chance to be more creative and think about what people really need. And sometimes it's not um, a therapy session. Sometimes it's the chance to be able to go out and see an old friend and have a chat and a cup of tea with them. Um, Which is nothing scientific, but it's just what we all do, how we live our lives. I think rewards as as a member of staff are around um, seeing the the difference in people's um, aspirations, if you like, I guess. I mean, one patient described to me um, that she felt um, quite imprisoned almost by her situation. And then when she realised that she had this opportunity to actually choose to do something, and she said to me, I feel like a great weight has been lifted from me, which, you know, it is really, it's rewarding to see that. The actual physical process of coming up with plans is not quick, but... Um, Part of the joy of doing a support plan is that you actually get to understand people more than perhaps you do in a normal therapeutic relationship because you spend more time with people and you find out what's really important. I do think that people may run out of like not have the ideas and when we said to them, here's a personal health budget, this is yours now, you can decide what healthcare you bring in to help you rehabilitate now from your stroke. You, we thought they were going to dry up of ideas and not know where to go, what to do. But in some instances, they've really surprised us and come up with some really good ideas as to what they want to use their money on. The patient has got the rest of their life to lead after you've, you've delivered your piece of their care, um, working with the professional so that they know that this is not a threat to them, it's not a criticism, it's about working with them to maximise what the patient can achieve, but also supporting and complementing what the, what the therapists are doing. I think the future is um, potentially really exciting. Uh, the exciting bit will be how we make it successful and we embed it um, in the work that we all do as healthcare professionals. We can continue to be looking holistically at the patients, their families and how we can help them. And this is a tool that we can use together. I mean, I'd like to see it rolled out for, you know, a whole mass of health conditions, whether they're short-term or long-term. 
So now we decided to hear from a personal health budget holder and their carer about what it's been like for them. Well, uh, before the stroke, I was very, very active. Uh, it took my, it go. took out my right arm and my right leg. Well, I thought it was magic. I couldn't believe it. I go to a, a place called Hobbs. Uh, Rehabilitation. Rehabilitation. I go there for an hour and the girl that sees to me, she's put me through <laughs> a little bit of physical torture, but she's done wonders. It's, it's like a 24-hour job being the carer, but now a professional's taken over with Cecil being continuing for his next few sessions. I shall have a little bit more of what I call me time. Me, personally, I say accepted without man's. Well, go into it with an open mind and just remember that though you are a professional person, one day you might require that same help. They must consider that the patient is the patient and they have made the decision that their action is their choice and they must help them to achieve their goal. I would feel very disappointed because it gets people moving off the assembly line quicker. I'd like to see it continue. Personal health budgets is how care should be for people. It's, it's been a huge privilege and I've, I've enjoyed a hu uh, all of it and I've learned a lot as well. As it evolves I think we need to embrace the concept um, for staff and patients to manage this change. The choice that this puts forward is very good indeed. It's doing me the world of good. Mmm, that's given me lots to think about and it's only the beginning.